Hi, I'm Andre Faust. If you've been following my videos, uh, I started right from uh, day one when I couldn't fly a thing, never flown a, a drone, and I've uh, kept a uh, basically a video log of my progression. I guess I'm targeting the uh, newbies and to see what I'm going through in real time. It's not that I've had uh, you know 50 years of experience and I'm trying to explain retroactively what I'm doing. I'm giving you real time as I'm learning. So what you're seeing is my is my bell curve. So I started out with the little Hubsons, uh, the little small little drones, and uh, I've, I've built myself up uh, as a, my competency level increased and my confidence. I moved up, uh, you know, I raised the bar. So now I'm uh, using a DJI Spark, and that has a lot of technology. Of course, for flying it in the house, I have to shut a lot of that down. Uh, for instance, uh, obstacle avoidance. Uh, if I had that on, it just wouldn't fly. So. What I first did, I started to fly, I hovered it, and then I walked behind it as I was flying it around the house. And I did that quite a few times, and uh, you know, I got you know, used to the controls and whatnot, and how the thing handled in close quarters. So now, I was to raise the bar. So what I did is, uh, and that's what you're going to see in this upcoming video, uh, what I did to, to raise the bar is that I stayed in the kitchen and I used this controller and I used this as my, as my screen to, to, to follow. So I'm sitting here and I'm working the, the controls and uh, I managed to uh, you know, go without a crash. Uh, but it was, yeah, as you'll see that I'm moving very slow. Uh, I'm not doing anything at high speeds uh, because I'm just not there yet. Uh, and that's going to be part of the exercise as I advance is that I'm going to try to do it quicker and quicker. And you see, well, before I jump the gun, I, I did get ahead of myself. Yes, I got a little confidence after being able to sit back using this and uh, doing my piloting from the kitchen throughout the house. I got really brave and I said, oh, I'm ready for this. And I brought up this puppy. Yeah, the old FPV with the goggles. Well, that turned out to be a disaster. Uh, an immediate crash. Of course, uh, I've had the propeller guards onto it because I anticipated, you know, something. But I was really confident uh, that I could do that with the, the goggles. Uh, but it didn't work out. So. Uh, I'm not ready to work with the goggles until I go outside and there's a lot of space and then I'll try the goggles. But for now, uh, that's on my not to do list in the house. It's just one of those things that, you know, I guess you got to scrape your knees before you learn. You know, uh, that, that's, a, that's a learning curve. Uh, so, now getting back, and now what both have in common is that whether you're using the goggles or you're using this, when you're looking at it, you lose, and this is what I've learned from my perceptual uh, psychology classes a long, long time ago, is that when you're looking at a screen, something like this, what it is, or through the goggles, what you lose is that three-dimensional perspective that we get with both eyes. Uh, that's why we have both eyes, is to see in stereo. It has uh, three dimensions, that's how we see it. But on a two-dimensional plane, uh, you cannot judge distances. And, uh, if you don't believe me, you can try this experiment with a table. Uh, but using both eyes on the top of the table, place your finger and then place your finger underneath the table and bring them together. With both eyes, it will not be a problem. Now I'll try that closing one eye. Same thing. Table over top, finger up underneath and try to line the fingers up. And you'll find most of the times you're going to be off. And that's the difference between uh, having depth perception and losing depth perception. So keep in mind, now I mean I knew that uh, you know, before I started. Uh, you know, like I said, that was something that I studied many, many years ago in, the, in, um, in my psychology courses. Uh, so anyway, so what you're going to be seeing is me uh, maneuvering through the house and uh, I say it went pr uh, really seamlessly uh, using just uh, the FPV off the uh, off of uh, the little te uh, telephone, uh, telephone <laughs> the little smartphone here. And, uh, for those who are interested, this is a uh, LG uh, Android, uh, and uh, all the DJI uh, software seems to work very well. And uh, AirMap is excellent. Now that tells me uh, if I'm in a uh, no-fly zone. So anyway, so we're going to move on to the 
slow flight through the house and unfortunately I cannot entertain you with uh, you know with a great big crash and parts flying all over the place and flames and house burns down none of that's going to happen so <laughs> here we go okay there's our little spark coming up and now remember this is from the camera's point of view the tr one on the tripod so we can see the little critter there you know, it's really really stable I mean it because it's inside the house uh, the G GPS is not working that flashing red light that's a uh, camera uh, that also picks up uh, facial recognition now this little uh, this little guy can answer to hand commands I haven't used that function yet but look it's staying really really in, in, in one place uh, you know I'm playing a little bit with this stick to uh, keep it a uh, starboard pan and uh, anyway, I'm just kind of studying how the, the, the craft is, is behaving, on how stable it is. Uh, whoops, I up and out of sight. I, I'm getting close to the ceiling there. <laughs> now, uh, here, while it's in the kitchen, I'm doing both. I'm doing first person view, and I'm looking at it line of sight. Uh, just uh, that I don't want to run into anything, uh, as earlier mentioned. Uh, when I used the goggles, that was a disaster. I, I ran into things. Uh, but now we're now we're looking at what the what the drone is seeing, and in a few moments there you'll see the camera. Much earlier, that's the, the shot you were getting. <laughs> there it is up in the upper left corner. And I'm trying to position the drone in front of it, uh, so that's why I'm not looking at it to have first person view. Uh, so I almost got the camera center, but remember at the beginning of this, uh, you were looking at it from the camera's point. Remember when the drone came that close? <laughs> but so here I'm doing, uh, I'm doing line of sight, and uh, just a quick uh, slow pan around the old kitchen there. And uh, you know I'm just getting you know familiar. Now now I'm going first person, first person view. Uh, everything. All done off of the little uh, smartphone screen. I'm dropping my camera, I'm just uh, seeing how the, you know how it responds. And uh, what I'm trying to do is get over the the, uh, the. What I'm trying to do is get over the camera. And again, that shows you how you know, relatively how stable this uh, little drone is. Uh, the Spark is uh, ideal for me.
so that uh, wraps it up. Um, my first FPV flight through the house. No major disasters. No animals were hurt in the filming of this. No cats. Everybody's good. And we're going to slowly bring this beast down for our per hopefully for a perfect landing. All right. Thanks. Till next time.